Unveiling the hidden hate on social media. That's the goal of the latest report from activist group Center for Countering Digital Hate. It worked with five prominent women with nearly 5 million followers on Instagram to access their direct messages. The group found that one in 15 of the messages contained misogynist abuse, graphic sexual images, or threats of violence or even death. The group reported the abuse to Instagram using Instagram's own tool, but found that Instagram took action against the person sending that message only about 10% of the time. It's about power, and it's about the power to cleanse spaces of people that you don't want there so that you have dominance over it. And it reduces the geography available to women, to people of colour, to others in society, marginalised groups in particular, who know that they cannot go out, they cannot go onto their Instagrams without having to confront an audio message that they have to play first before they realise is full of death threats and hatred. In February 2021, Instagram announced that it would tackle this sort of abuse by disabling accounts and working with law enforcement. But the group says that Instagram's not doing enough. It wants Instagram to step up enforcement of DM abuse and wants legislators to take notice too. You are compounding the harm done to those women because in the moment you're telling them, if you reach out your hand for help, we will reach back and, and take it. And that what's actually happening is they're gaslighting those women. Now, the Center for Countering Digital Hate says that they've heard from people of color and other marginalized group, uh, groups about this type of abuse happening to them. For now, they recommend that people continue reporting the abuse, highlight any failures for any social media platform to act by using the hashtag hidden hate, 